I think a lot of men get comfortable when they're in relationships, full stop. And they enter kind of like this friendly vibe with their, with their girlfriend. And it's almost like, you know, they're, they're pals rather than, you know, in a relationship and stuff like that. Like, there's, there's, there's all been times that I'm with my girl and that, and like, she'll say to me, oh, um, yeah, you've joined the gang, like her and her sister and her friend, they got this little gang. I don't know what they do, like maybe send each other memes. No, no, no. I'm not entering you lot's gang. Yeah, you lot's little meme gang where we're in a group chat or something like that and we're sending each other memes. I'm not your fucking friend. Yeah, I tell my girl all the time, we are not friends. Yeah, we're not friends. That is how the sexual energy, the sexual chemistry, sexual tension leaves the room. And it's more like, if you live in, I don't live with no one, obviously, in it, yeah, but when you're living with a girl, it's like living with a roommate. Yeah. Oh, what did you get up to today? Oh, yeah, I've done this. And, you know, you just go about your separate ways and stuff. And obviously, you're supposed to have space and time away from your girlfriend, but it, you just, you, you, yeah, the mean gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I think, I think she, but yeah, she was, uh, that's just an example, whatever, isn't it? But yeah, you don't want to be your girl's friend. Yeah, we are not friends. I know that's what they show on the TV and stuff. Like, yeah, you know, it, it, it's nice. It's nice to have a good relationship, like a good friendly relationship with your girlfriend. But that kills relationships, I'm telling you. Yeah? And a lot of people think it's normal, right? When you get older, right, to lose the sexual tension and, you know, sleep in separate beds with your brother. There's, there, 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 there's, there's married, um, married couples out here, they sleep in separate beds, yeah? It may be in the same room, maybe in different rooms. There's, there's an old, older couple on my street, yeah? they're 60 year olds, right? I said to the man, oh, um, how many bedrooms is your house, right? Because his house looks a bit smaller than the others, right? He said, oh, it's a free bed, isn't it, yeah? I'm like, oh, I said something about the room upstairs. He said, oh no, that's my wife's room, my room's at the back. They don't sleep in the same room. So that you know they're not having sex, yeah? It, people will think that you know when you grow older yeah the sex leaves the um the marriage and then that that's normal it's not normal it's not normal that's not the way it's supposed to be it happens all the time because guys don't know how to keep the sexual energy in the relationship they turn into more of a friendly vibe with their woman and it's because a lot of men become weak in relationships as well their girlfriend does the pullback as i always talk about right not that i invented it yeah i heard about it on the internet and it's fucking true the woman pulls back and you know what? She still needs a guy to provide for him, for her. So she don't break up with him, whatever, but she don't sleep with him no more. She loses attraction for him. She puts him more in the friend zone when she's probably got a next man around the corner. Yeah, that's digging her out. Arcs around. Watch, watch videos, isn't it? Yeah. Watch Maury. Yeah. I see one video the other day where um, there's one guy on the internet, MJ Get Right. He was watching one video and he was talking about uh, i think he was doing like a reaction video and basically there was um this girl she, she was being filmed by her boyfriend right he's filming her open up um a package right or like a birth a present right and it's just one bag within another bag one bag within another bag one bag within another bag so she's just opening up these bags just bags on bags on bags and anyway when she got to the bottom of it right there was like, i think an envelope there's a piece of paper in it. This man was with this woman for, let's say four years, and there was a three-year-old daughter. Yeah? And pay attention to when I say there was a three-year-old daughter. Yeah? It weren't his child, right? He done a DNA test with the daughter. So he probably took a saliva or maybe a strand of hair or something like that from the daughter. Took it down to the test or the lab or whatever, or maybe even took the daughter, right? Gave some of his saliva or strand of hair. Anyway, bam, found out that it weren't his daughter. The next man breeded a woman, right? And obviously, she weren't asleep when it happened. She knew exactly what happened. She cheated on him and she didn't say nothing. Yeah, this is what happens. When men get weak, women want to find other men. Yeah? Women don't cheat for the sake of cheating. Now, I don't always say that women cheat for the sake of cheating, but. They don't cheat for the sake of cheat. They cheat when the man that they're with displays weakness. Now they want to find that strength in someone else. Uh, women do not like weak men. Uh, 
And periodically, they will keep testing. They will keep pulling back. They will keep breaking up with men to find out whether or not he's lost his strength or weakness. And you might break up with a girl. And that's still a test. Yeah? Because you'll be like, okay, you broke up with me. All right, cool. Sometimes men break up with women and they run back to the woman. So it's not always a woman breaks up with a man to test a man. Sometimes a man will break up with a woman and she'll sit back and wait. Yeah? See if he... See if he goes back on his way. See if he thinks to himself, shit, I might have made a mistake. Oh, no, please, baby, please, please, please. Hmm? Yeah, you are not the father. Maury. That program was a fucking classic. There was all gal on there, right? They, they fucking, they got 10 men on the show. Still can't find the father. How many men did you lick down in that month? How many men did you lick that? How many bodies did you accumulate in that month that you can't decipher within with, with, between 10 men who's the father and you still can't find the father? I wonder what the record is on Maury. It's probably like between 10 and 15 men where a girl has, you know, tested 10, between 10 and 15 men and still can't find the father. Man like a wanted fugitive. How embarrassing is that? You know, there's all certain times, there's certain people walking around right now, they don't know who their dad is, you know. A lot of the time, the women don't know who, them, who, who, who the father is because they lick down about four or five men within a couple of weeks. So they don't even know who the fuck the father is, yeah? He's some man who's probably got kids elsewhere. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. But yeah, a couple more minutes left. Seven minutes. I'll round it off to an hour and a half live stream. Shout out to all the people then that's watching, still locked in. What time is it now? So yeah, 12 48. Mm -hmm. I would like to play some music in these live streams just in the background, but I think I might get copyrighted and stuff, so I don't wanna. Because although I'm not getting paid for this live stream right now, one day I will get paid for these live streams. Mm -hmm. It might even be in three years' time. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. I want to know, say, that the time I've invested now is going to get paid for, uh, and it's not. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes in life you have to work for free, yeah? or practically work for free. Now, I was, when I was an apprentice, I used to work for like, I think it was £7.50 a day, right? Uh, uh, seven pound, seven pound fifty an hour, or whatever in it. Yeah? So what I must is that, um, yeah. But there's look, Ben eight three eight. There's bear man out there, right? Who they raise children, yeah, that are not theirs. My fucking goodness me, yeah. I met this girl, right? So in Loughton, there used to be um a club called New Bar, yeah. If any of you all watched that program back in the day, the only way is Essex, yeah. I haven't actually seen an episode where they're in the new bar, but apparently the only way it's Essex people, the tower people then used to go to some place called New Bar. Now I've been there back in the day, innit? Yeah? And when I used to go there back in the day, Loughton is a white area, proper Essex, yeah. We were the only man them that used to go to that place, right? So we will go there, right? We'll, we'll go there like just three, four man deep, whatever in here. We'll the only man them in there, innit? Yeah. There'll be a black guy, but he's like a black guy, he's like a all his friends are white, right? And then you get like one mixed race guy who's like a white guy as well, whatever. And, yeah. and it's just pure white girls, a couple of mixed race girls here and then, yeah. But by and large, the place was just a white place, and it? Yeah. it was cool, it was calm. And, yeah. Then eventually, the place, I start seeing man them up there, and then uh, apparently I hear that there's trouble, or whatever, in, in the place. And, yeah. But boom, when I was in there, I saw one mixed race girl. Well, I thought this girl was mixed race, yeah? Chatting to her, I think her name was Sophie or something like that, a couple years older than me. Boom, chatting to her now, and I, I said to her, where, um, where, where's your black parent from? Yeah, well, are they Jamaican or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? And she said, oh, I ain't got no black parent. Both my parents are white. You know what? Yeah? If it weren't for, like, you know, identity protection and stuff, I would post a picture of this girl, right? This girl looks fucking mixed race, yeah? Her dad is not a white man. Right, her dad might even be mixed race himself, so she's a quarter, um, a quarter black. But this this girl definitely has a father who has black in him. Right, her mum has cheated. Yeah. I even know a guy. Right, 
He thinks he is fully Nigerian. Yeah? He thinks he's fully black, right? Now he's light skinned. There are light skinned Nigerians. There's a light skinned Nigerian family who live on my road. Yeah? Both their parents are black, but they're light skinned. So there are light skinned Nigerians. This guy is mixed race. Yeah? And apparently, back in the day, obviously before he was born, another Nigerian mother used to be friends with his mum, right? And she said, when the father was away, a white man used to go to the house, right? And my cousin knows this particular guy who thinks he's fully Nigerian, yeah? And everyone tells him, bro, you look mixed race. And he's like, no, 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 both my parents are black. Right, there is a thing called throwback genes or whatever, in it, yeah? Where both parents could be dark skin and, and the child is light skin. I've got an auntie, both her parents are dark skin, same color as me, yeah? But she's light skin, right? It is possible. But this guy, he has mixed race hair. He looks mixed race. Everyone thinks he's mixed race. And isn't it a coincidence when his father was away, quote unquote, when his father was away at work, a white man used to go to the house. And out of all of his siblings, right? Obviously, they're supposed to have the same parents, right? He looks nothing like any of his siblings, right? Fuck the throwback thing, right? Because it could just be a, a, a skin pigmentation thing. He looks nothing like any of his siblings. You know why? Because his dad's a white man, right? His mum stepped out right, on his quote-unquote dad when he was, before he was born. Yeah? Women, these women out here, man, they're savage, man. They will, they will get knocked up by an ex, man, yeah? and they will pretend and lie, and they know yeah, that it's not his child, right? But they ain't going to say nothing because they want the free child support. Yeah, yeah. oh, Lord. A -A yeah, A-Y-L-D-N. Oh, Lord. Trust me. The shit is real out here. The shit is real. Now, I know who my dad is because I look fucking just like him. Yeah? So, yeah. But yeah, there are a lot of people out here, they, they don't know who their dad is, really. They, they think the man that's holding down yeah, the fort yeah, is their dad. He is not their dad. Yeah, not their dad. Not their dad, man. Oh, listen, <laughs> I ain't gonna fling no names or nothing like that, either, but I know someone who, <sighs> this is fucking terrible. A man lived in a flat and he's a black man and he was dealing with a white woman and below there was a white man, right? You know, this white woman that this black man was dealing with got pregnant by the man who lives in the basement. So, or maybe even when you was asleep, yeah? Or maybe when you left, when she left your yard, she didn't go home, you know? She was underneath you, literally. I mean, I don't mean like, he lives on the third floor and a man lives on the ground floor, no. He lived on the ground floor and there was a basement flat. She got pregnant by the man who lived in the basement flat. Mad ting. Yeah. Mad ting. And I think he still stayed with a woman as well. What a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, he did, he did stay with her because they got a kid that is younger than the kid that the woman had with the man that she cheated on him with. So... The white woman cheated on the black man with a white man, had a baby, and then the white woman had another baby with the black man. Now, obviously, the baby came out white, didn't it? So, obviously, she, he knows that ain't his child. Yeah? I don't see how a black man and a white woman can have a white child. Yeah? Now, it has happened in history, like, where the child looks white, but yeah, you know your woman's creeped out on you. Yeah.